All right, this video is on using the quadratic formula to solve quadratic equations. So here's the formula. The solutions of the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, where a, b, and c are all real numbers, but a can't be zero. Because if a was zero, then you'd be left with a linear equation, and that's easier to solve, are x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. All right, so we take the coefficients of x squared, x, and the constant term, and we plug them into the formula, uh, and we, uh, we get our solutions. All right, I'm not doing it in this video, but to show that the solutions of ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 are indeed this formula down here, we use comp completing the square. We solve this equation up here by completing the square. Um, and when we do that, this generic equation, when we do that, uh, then this is the formula that pops out. And it works for every single quadratic equation. You can solve every quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. All right, let's look at some examples. All right, 5x squared equals negative x plus 2. Now, before we uh, use the quadratic formula, we need to recognize that we have a quadratic equation, which we do because it's x squared. Then the next thing is to write everything on one side. So I'm going to move the x and the 2 over. So we'll have 5x squared plus x minus 2 is equal to 0. And then we plug them into the formula. You got a is 5, b is 1, and c is negative 2. So x equals negative b, so negative 1, plus or minus the square root of 1 squared, that's the b squared, minus 4a, and c is a negative 2, all over 2 times a. Make sure you ingrain the formula in your brain. All right, so now we just simplify x equals negative 1 plus or minus. All right, under the square root there, what do we have? We have 1 plus 40 all over 10. So the solutions are negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 41 all over 10. The square root of 41 doesn't simplify down further, so we can just leave it as is, and we get uh, two solutions, negative 1 plus radical 41, all divided by 10, and negative 1 minus radical 41, all divided by 10. Okay. All right, let's look at the next one. So we have a quadratic equation again, and everything is all on the left side, so we can just jump straight to the formula. So a is 1, b is negative 4, and c is positive 4. So x equals negative b, so negative and negative 4, plus or minus the square root of negative 4 squared, note the parentheses there, minus 4 times a times c, all divided by 2 times a. All right, then simplify. So x equals 4 plus or minus the square root What's that? 16 minus 16 all divided by 2. So x equals 16 minus 16 is 0, so the square root of 0 is 0. So we're just left with 4 over 2, which is just 2. There's only one solution. Everybody see how that happened? Okay, 16 minus 16 is 0, square root of 0 is 0, so you have 4 plus or minus 0, so that's just 4. So 4 divided by 2 just goes to 2. All right, do one more. Uh, a is 1, b is 1, c is 1. So x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. So x equals negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 4, which is negative 3, all over 2. All right, the square root of negative 3 we need to take care of. That goes to what? Well, it's an imaginary number. So negative 1 plus or minus square root of negative 3 goes to i times the square root of 3, and then all divided by 2. And there are two solutions there, negative 1 plus i radical 3, all divided by 2, and negative 1 minus i radical 3, all divided by 2. 
Right, so make sure that you ingrain the quadratic formula into your brain so you can use it whenever you run into a quadratic equation. Remember, it solves every quadratic equation. All right, study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.